I literally find doing intros the most awkward thing and hardest thing to do about a YouTube video. It's so hard to do an intro. So that's gonna be my intro, wicked. Okay guys, so in this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to get the nicest and purest guitar tone ever in the whole entire world. You're not gonna hear anything like this ever again. This is the best you'll ever hear. So in all seriousness, this is a really nice guitar tone. It's slightly overdriven, clean sort of sound. I'm not actually using an amp for this. I'm trying my best to move away from valve amps because I've always had the worst luck. I've always needed to get them fixed and repaired at least once to twice a year. It ends up costing so much money to the point where every amp I've had, I've spent nearly the amount of money on repairing it as the amp actually cost originally to buy. I don't know about you, but that kind of annoys me, especially with the fact that when it's in the repair shop, it could be there for a week to two weeks, depending on how long it takes to get valves in and how busy the tech is. So I discovered this company called Neural DSP. They obviously, they're not sponsoring this video. I haven't even got a thousand subscribers yet, but I've discovered their plugins and I can't actually believe I'm saying the word plugin because I used to despise that word to be as a guitar player, I would never play a plugin because I've played them before and they sounded crap, they sounded horrible. Everything I've tried so far from Neural DSP feels quite real and it actually sounds quite good. But this one I think is the best one they have come out with, in my opinion. This one actually responds like a real amp. Like I don't really need to constantly tweak it to go, okay, now it feels real. Now it feels like it's responding properly. This one is just straight away, it feels real it just is so nice so it's convenient because it's all within the computer and i'm just going to be going through the sound that i just showed off there and it's this again this is obviously i've got some humbuckers here but very classic, very sort of pushed, clean tone where you're pushing the vowels a little bit. So this is based on the um, Tone King Imperial Mark II. It's just a combo amp and it it's amazing. I think to buy it as an actual amp, I think they're about three and a half thousand pounds or dollars, super expensive. So this is, what, this is what we've got. I am on the rhythm channel. So I'm on this section here. It's pretty straightforward, um, volume, you're gonna adjust the volume accordingly, but I've kind of got it there. I feel like that's quite, that's where it bites just a bit. Treble in between one and two, bass just sort of left at 12. I do have the gate on, but that's more when I'm playing with single coils. Taking a look at the front, literally all I've done is turn the overdrive pedal on, turn the drive down. So, so far you can kind of see that I've barely done anything because I've adjusted the volume and the treble that's it. I've turned the overdrive one on, turned the drive down, right? Very simple. Going over to the cab section, I've got a 57 and a ribbon 121. I haven't really done much there if I'm completely honest. Left it, left it in the default positions. Take a look. This is this is the only thing I've kind of I've adjusted a bit really. Um, and it's the de delay on the reverb. So I've sort of programmed it for a quarter note on each side, left and right. Got the mix uh, about, if I'm talking about a clock face, around about eight o'clock there. Um, feedback also about eight o'clock, so basically on number two. Reverb is sort of relatively moderate. I'm not doing anything massive because I don't want it to cloud all my notes, but I want it to add a really nice fat foundation to what I'm playing. So dry and wet is at three, um, decay is in between three and four, pre-delay just left at zero. Um, this one here is on three, and then again, this one over here is what, that's like two o'clock on the roll off. That's it, that is literally all I've done. Um, and I got that really nice, really responsive tone. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna plug in my strats so you can hear how this responds with single coils.
is nice. Very, very nice. This is kind of, this is basically what I would have as like a standard tone when I plug into an amplifier. I would have delay and I'd have my reverb set moderately, not too, you know, not keeping everything shy. And this is generally what I would like to just sort of plug in and play my guitar like. So I'm really happy, this is so nice. So this next one I've called Standard Delay Chorus, or Standard Del Chorus, just to keep it short. And I've kept everything exactly the same, but I've just added chorus, turned the depth up just a, literally just a little tiddly bit, um, in between one and two on the dry and wet, and got the rate at about 10 o'clock, or in between 10 and 11, and I'm getting... <laughs> guitar tone I can record easily very easily because it's all within the computer barely any cables running around my room so it keeps things a little bit more convenient you know over here this is great this is absolutely wicked so I'm definitely gonna be exploring this whole plug-in world a little bit more because it's only really in the last couple of sort of maybe month or two that I've really started to take a look at it. So this is definitely gonna be fun to play around with. So that's pretty much the video. I hope that you enjoyed that to some degree. If you don't mind subscribing and liking and checking out my other videos, because I have a channel full of guitar related content. So please do feel free and have a look. Thank you very much. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.